here's how the matching rule works. So when you have two lines, right? How do we find the number of intersections? Well, you're simply gonna look at the ratio of the coefficient. We're gonna find the ratio of the y's, x, and the numbers. So when it comes to y's, what's the ratio? It's one over two. What about the x? Three over minus six, and the number eight over 16. Which means if we simplify, we're gonna get one half, negative one half, and just one half right there. And you see how the ratio of the y and the numbers are matching? If we go to the matching rule table over here, when the y and the number are matching, we simply have one solution, which means our answer is going to be choice B. You might be asking, John, what if it was like this? What if it was one half, one half, one half, everything is matching up, then how many solutions do we have? Well, go to the table. Matching, matching, matching. We have infinite number of solutions. They are essentially two of the same lines. So the main takeaway here is when it comes to two lines, use the matching rule. When it comes to a line and a parabola, use the discriminant to find out the number of intersections. It's that simple. And last but not least, we're gonna to go to